So we are discussing about the full stack application with Laravel and Angular, right? So last day we have completed the sign up and login process. So if I just go inside here and just use this email, so which we have registered from this page and just go to the login and inspect this, then you can see a token will generate. Okay, so let's submit this. So you can see the access token is generated. So now we have to handle this token. Suppose if I want to access the profile section. So if the valid token is exist, then only we can access profile or we can view the profile menu. But if not true means if not exist, then it will not so right. And by this token, we can understand we are logged in or not. So if we log in then login and sign up option will disappear and will get a logout instead of these two things and will get profile and if i log out again then only we can see the login and sign up so let's how to handle this token inside your application so we'll basically set up the token environment and how to set up all those things related to token so in this video we're going to discuss about these things right so now if i just go here we can see the back end and front end. The back end is for Laravel and front end is for Angular. So if you don't see the previous video, I will recommend you please see the previous video. The link are provided in the description section. So basically the login is handling from the login component. So if you just go inside the front end SRC app, inside the components, all the components are there. And this is the login component and these are printing that is this token and these things we are getting from here the console log is the from data so i don't need i am removing these things and these are getting from the response basically we are calling a service right so we are getting the token so let's to handle token we need to create a defined service so i want to create another service so service will create inside these services so just go here and you can see this is front end so just create another tab and let's create a service ng for angular g for generate s for service and the service will be under the services folder this is the exactly same name and my service name is suppose token right so just enter this so the new token is created and the name of the token is token.service.ts so if we just go here we can see the token service.ts is created okay so now we need to call this token service from the login component just like we are using the backend services so just go here and import the token service so it will come from dot dot slash dot dot slash then the service folder and the token service right so this token service and just add the name that is token service okay so these are added so now to use this token service we have to create another private property so write private and let's create token sorry spelling mistake token colon the token service now the token service is accessible from this login component dot ts right now if i just getting any token that means after login if i just getting the token so when just getting token we are just consoling these things that's the reason we can see but we need to handle this token so how to handle this simple here instead of the console log i am just going to call this with the handle response so this was the handle error for error handling and handle response for token handling right so handle response basically for response handling and let's pass the data so right here sorry right here and let's create a functions inside this so handle response and just call this so inside the parameter we are just receiving the data 
and this is the any kind of data so all are okay so why is the error so we need to call the this dot handle response to call any functions or methods we need to use the this right and inside here we just want to see how the token is appear so i'm simply just trying to log in console log and let's check whether my token is appearing or not so simply write data and access token right actually these are coming from the laravel site access token so let's see once so if i just go here and let's copy this and check whether we are getting correctly or not so submit this so just go here we can getting the token that means it is okay so we are getting the token now we need to do so we need to call the token so here we will just want to create a token service functions so suppose my functions name is suppose handle right to handle token we are just going to create a handle functions and let's call these functions from here so here inside the handle response just call this dot token so here is the token that means this token is basically this right this token and the token function so we have a handle function so this dot token dot handle then i want to pass the access token so simply i will just pass the token and all the token related things will handle from the token service right so simply we'll pass the token and all those things will handle from here so it's showing error because we are not getting any parameter from here just receive the token and let's use any and now the, we need to do so we need to set the token into our local storage so to set the token simply just create another function that is set and inside here i will just pass the token so just passing the token and it's any and here from the handle function we'll call this dot set and we'll pass the token right so all are set now inside here we need to call the local storage so simply just write a return local storage so this local storage dot the set item okay so set item and just pass the token in this way so using this we can set token into our application so if i now just go inside here and let's try to log in again then we can understand what is happening actually so just use the email id and one two three four five six and if i just go inside the application we can get the local storage here so simply just submit and inside the local storage we will get the token so this token is actually added okay so this is the local storage and we can use this token anywhere so we need to get the token we need to remove the token and we will do all the operation related to things so for that we need to create some functions so to get the token we will use get and inside get we will just use return in the same way local storage and dot get item right so here my token name is token so you can see here this is the key token and i will save the token this is the token right and the next thing is we need to remove the token so simply create another functions that is remove token so i will remove by the key so i know the key that is the name of the token is token so local storage and to remove item okay and inside here just write the token name so this is a token name. you can add any name suppose if you want to say that abcd then you will get the key as abcd and will get the value so this is the value and this is the name you can set any name as per your own purpose okay so we have created the token and we set the token we get the token and remove the things so so all the things is done now the thing is we have to check whether the token is valid or 
node all right so for this let's create another function is valid all right and we will check suppose i am creating a constant variable that is cnst and let's use the token and we'll get the token from the gate function so just call this dot get right so if the token is exist that means if the token is exist then it will return true so if the token is not exist by default i am returning as a false right and if i just go here and we can see the token is generated but we need to understand what is actually inside this token so simply search jwt token and let's see what is inside this token so basically how the token is created so basically token have three parts the one is this base 64 url this is the header part this is the payload part and the last your 256 bit secret code so that is which we have set inside our environment okay so i need to check only these things that is the payload part this is the middle section of these things this up to from here up to this right so we need to check this so first of all we need to split the whole token and we will find the token from here so i need this section so now just decode the token so how we can decode the token so simply let's create another method that is payload right and simply here just sorry and simply here write the token so i will pass the token and we'll split all those things so simply this is the anytime i don't know what's actually the jwt authentication type so that's the reason we can see the token is any type and here just write constant and the constant variable that is also a payload and i want to just split the whole token so simply write token dot split and i will split by using dot so if you check the whole token so there is the dot so this is the first part and dot second part is dot and the third part so i need only the first one uh, sorry i need only the second one so right here one okay so if i need the first one then zero so simple javascript right sorry i'm creating the methods in the wrong section there's a reason it's getting error so we need to create this inside this right inside the class right so it's okay now and the next things after getting this payload i just want to return with the decoded format so after splitting this token I want to decode the token. So how we can decode this? So let's create another function for decode. And I want to pass the payloaded things, that is the splitted things from here. So I just call this payload and let's say any. And we'll call this decode function from here. So simply write return this dot decode. Here this is the decode and just pass the payload okay and inside here we'll just decode these things so right here written and json dot parse and the payload okay and we to use the atop here to decode the full things so at okay so all are set so now we have to check the is valid that means if the token is exist we have to return the true means this is exist or not otherwise it will simply return false that is simply a boolean right so now just create constant so right here constant and let's call the payload so constant payload equal to this dot payload sorry dot payload and we will pass the token so these are the token we are generating from here so not generating we are getting right so we are basically calling the gate method and now just check if the payload exists that means there is some token and we will check the url also 
now inside here we'll just check the token part so simply inside here i will use the ternary operator that is written sorry spelling mistake written and inside here just write payload dot iss so, so if you simply just trying to console these things the payload things you will get there is some iss part so let's compare with the iss part and if this is exist then we'll pass the true otherwise it will pass false okay and let's copy the url so this is the login component.ts so just go to the login component sorry the backend service.ts and let's verify these things so i want to verify the login so simply just write here the login so if these are there that means we can getting the perfect things okay that means if true then we can understand it's logged in otherwise not so simply just go again and before that let's call this from here and just call this is valid function from here so right here console dot log console dot log and let's call the functions so that we can understand what is getting from the is valid so right here this dot is valid okay so this is the function now just go here and try to log in again so this is my email and one two three four five six and just submit this okay we are getting true that means we are logged in so we can understand we can check the validity of token and by this is valid function so whenever we need the token that means we want to check whether we are logged in or not we will just call this token service and by this is valid function we will get the token is exist or not and on the basis of these things we will do all the things okay next day we will going to discuss about the profile section so by this flag means this is simply boolean value this is true or false by this flag we will check whether we are logged in or logged out so if we just simply logged in that means instead of login and sign up we will get the logout and profile and if not logged in then we will get the login and sign up not the profile right so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day